G'day. Okay, here's just a quick tip for you. Mm. It'll be a... So I'm always doing things by myself. I don't really have help for anything. And uh, you've always found it difficult to bleed brakes, you know, because you need you know, uh, two people if you're going to pump. You know, have one pump in the pedal, the other one on the brake nipple. And, uh, you know, I've discovered a very easy way to do this. Mm -hmm. I discovered it on a bike, actually. I was doing my clutch, my hydraulic clutch on my Yamaha. And, uh, yeah, I was pumping it and pumping it and pumping it, and it just wasn't bleeding through. And, uh, yeah, I have one of these syringes here, which I'd bought for measuring exact amounts of oil for the forks and uh, yeah so I tried it and uh, it works a treat I see you see not really a lot of light here but anyway from the bleed nipple unscrew your bleed nipples first because you, know, you need to make sure they're clean to begin with and uh, put a little bit of grease around the grease nipple and that will stop it drawing air in around the nipple. So hopefully I can do this one handed whilst holding the camera. And uh, hopefully you can actually see it. Can't see it that well. Just hang on tick. Hopefully that will stay on there. Just gonna grab a torch. Yeah. Okay, now we've got some light. And you can also open the bleeding nipple. And you just draw back on your syringe. Yep. Doing this one handed. And just might pull the hose right off the nipple. have to maintain pressure on it. You can see it drawing the air up. Some of that air just come in around the hose because I pulled it down, but there we go. No more air. So uh, we'll do that up now. Right. Yeah, that air just come in around the hose because I'm not holding it straight. I'm gonna have to drop the camera and. Just check that again in case any of that got back in there. But yeah, that was basically bled. Yeah, as I said, yeah. Normally, yeah, you have two hands, you hold it tight. And I said, because that dropped down then like that, that's where it drew the air in around it. Yeah, but basically, yeah, it's bled. But I'll check it again just in case any air got back in there through dropping it like that. Allowing the hose to come off the nipple, and uh, yeah, always as usual, keep checking your master cylinder because if it runs dry, you're going to suck air into your master cylinder, and then you basically go start over again. But uh, anyway, just a quick tip, and uh, hope it's helpful. And yeah, hit the like, please. Okay.